So the Star Wars Outlaws drama is heating up lately, and it's only going to get worse as the game starts to leave early access and it eventually gets to its official release, a.k.a. the delayed release, because everybody's playing the actual release right now. But, you know, that's how Ubisoft monetization goes. Star Wars Outlaws subreddit, or Reddit in general, is a place where you're going to have plenty of people trying to shill for the mainstream gaming industry. They try to do this with the mainstream Hollywood. They try to do this with mainstream media. They shill for the mainstream over at Reddit. There is no doubt about that. If you go to Reddit, chances are there's going to be a thread somewhere that's going to be filled with a cesspool of shills. Well, apparently, the subreddit is now reportedly banning users for criticizing Ubisoft's upcoming Star Wars Outlaws game. You're playing music too loud, right to jail, right away. You're driving too fast, jail. Slow, jail. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is not exactly very shocking, considering that they've been doing this for a lot of video games right now. They have run so much damage control on the subreddit for whatever game you might be thinking of in your head. For example, Assassin's Creed Shadows has had a bunch of people running damage control in that subreddit, banning literally any discussion against Yasuke in any form whatsoever. Even if you try to argue historical accuracy, even if you try to argue with literal facts, it doesn't matter. The subreddit has opened said that they don't care about the facts all they care about is yasuke being the main character or one of the main characters for assassin's creed shadows and that's all that's important to them so them doing this with star wars outlaws is not too shocking but it's still still it, it's still as hilarious as it always been so let's get into this article from that park place but of course before we do if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push this out into that YouTube algorithm. So again, we got the ugly uh, modern audience K vest over here. The Star Wars Outlaws subreddit is reportedly banning individuals for criticizing Ubisoft's latest game. Reddit user Ugly Coyote reached out to that park place and informed us that Reddit Star Wars Outlaws is banning and silencing people who are critics of the game during early access and also deleting posts. He found himself very victim of this myself after I got reports from other people saying that they were banned. He then speculated, this looks like damage control before the game officially launches this week. Now, I've been, I've been hearing a lot of people, and I, and I really mean a lot of people, that are on Twitter, that are on different forums, that are on whatever, talking about how bad this game is. I've even seen clips of people trying desperately to shill for this game, but unfortunately they can't because the game is so buggy and broken that they can't even play the game. I remember seeing a clip, and I wish I had it, of a guy playing the game and talking about how amazing it is and how it, it's such in like a beautiful open world, and then all of a sudden he fell through the ground and he said, never mind. <laughs> that's, that's literally what happened. I, if, I, if I could find that clip, I'll pull it up in another video or on stream. But still, it, it was hilarious to watch that go down. Even the shills cannot say that this game is amazing in its current state. But what else would you expect from a Ubisoft game? Ubisoft is known for releasing broken games at launch, and nobody should be spending any money at initial release, especially when we all know that Ubisoft games go on sale for like 75% off three months after release. I don't know why anybody would want to spend full price on a Ubisoft game. But again, you, I guess you're going to have shills. It doesn't matter. Ugly Coyote then shared a screenshot indicating he was banned from the subreddit, but informed that park place he was not giving a reason as to why he was banned. He explained, I asked him with no reply. Then I asked for the moderator name who banned me and was muted for seven days. Oh, yeah. So they don't they don't want anything to do with him. Uh, if you look at some of the comments he put here, let's see. Uh, Ugly Coyote four days ago. LOL, look at the insults he wrote, and I'm disrespectful in what way? I fun say anything disrespectful. I only question his say if thinking and age since when is this disrespectful right now as told before i slash we are making an investigative report about mods abusing their power to steer narratives and influence people also about silencing critics and selectively deleting and decensoring posts you are clearly biased here i would like to know your username if you don't mind yeah you're not gonna get it you're not gonna get it because they don't care right it, it, they don't care to be unbiased they're not looking to be unbiased they let their biases known right off the bat early on and they're going to continue to do so because they feel like they have all the power. These Reddit mods, they're, they're like the army for the mainstream industry. That's what they do. Ugly Coyote also informed that Park Place that the moderators on the subreddit were deleting a number of posts criticizing the game. He said that there were a lot of posts deleted on Star Wars Outlaws Reddit, and me and a friend replied to those posts about
about voicing criticism about graphics, performance, and so on. So my friend then posted about censoring posts and was banned for posting non-related topics comments for, I think, three days or so. In that deleted post, um, many said their friends got banned also. I got banned when I questioned the age of a user and his beliefs by stating that he blindly believes propaganda and described the critical parts of the game like performance, hardware needs, uglification of the main character, and so on. Also, I said he should be aware of false media hype like IGN, he added. Yeah, no, you can't you can't go into Reddit and talk against the overlords, right? You can't do that because that's where the overlords hang out. You're not going to be able to go to Reddit and talk about how bad Kotaku is, how bad IGN is, how bad all these mainstream show media websites. You're not going to be able to do that. That's where they hang out. <laughs> that's where they have their boys. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to ban you right off the bat immediately. The moment they have any sniff of you being able to think for yourself, they can't have that. You can't do that. That's not allowed. You got to make sure you believe everything they say without any sort of impunity whatsoever you have to believe them and bend the knee that's what they expect of you so again subreddits banning people trying to run damage control for certain video games that's not exactly quite shocking you know even that park place talks about it here with assassin's creed shadows it says this action from moderators on reddit is not unheard of and seemingly seems to be quite common moderators for the assassin's creed subreddit threatened to ban any players who post in the forum disputing developer ubisoft's original claim that yasuke is a powerful african samurai of historical legend the moderators posted a thread on july 28 titled there is no debate yasuke was a samurai if you disagree you could do that somewhere else <laughs> imagine being in such an echo chamber that even remotely hearing about possible other points of view is something that's going to destroy you so much that you have to ban it right and, and it's crazy because it's not even like someone's point of view it's fact man like the guy wasn't a samurai that's not our fault that's your fault for believing fucking thomas lockley in the first place the man who's been discredited multiple times and found out that he was lying about everything he wrote about not only that the man perpetuated the lie that he based his lie on that's insane he has lying inception he literally wrote the lie on wikipedia was caught doing so and then based his entire book off of that lie thus creating another lie in and of itself it's insane what was going on but that's that's just how it goes man uh the thread itself reads with the reveal of assassin's creed shadows there's been an influx of certain individuals spilling into various communities online such as a subreddit and raising arguments about historical accuracy as we are all exhausted of this tedious discussion that has been endlessly talked to death not to mention exacerbated by a recent official statement from ubisoft we would like to give a final reminder to those participating in these debates as to what exactly this franchise entails you know what's funny? They essentially, uh, by banning people, regardless of what they're saying, they, they're giving up, right? That's them giving up because even Ubisoft said that the fans were essentially right about the entire discussion. And this subreddit was like, no, Ubisoft, why are you giving them all the ammo they need? No, stop, stop. So they knew they had nothing left. So now they resorted to just banning people that ideologically disagreed with them. So they admitted defeat. And it's going to be something that's going to happen with the Star Wars Outlaws as well. There's only so much you can do to ban people. You can try to get the voice silenced as much as you want. But gamers are going to be heard one way or another. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.